today we're going to be doing a top 10 Super Mario grass levels. And yeah, before we get started, I would like to say that um, you should like and subscribe and stay notified for um, all my content. And let's get into um, these these top 10s. And alright, coming in at number 10 is Super Mario Bros. 1-1. Now, the reason why this is going so low on the list is because it's so generic. It didn't do anything. It, it, it really didn't do anything. That's all I'm going to say. It, but it was the start and gave, gave off the whole series. And that's why he's here today. But anyways, this is where the Goombas origin, the Koopa Troopas, blocks, pretty much everything from the Super Mario series. But yeah... The, um, the plumber origin from this game and there's pretty much not that much to say but I put this one low on the list because it's pretty generic and yeah let's get into number nine all right guys for number nine you guys are gonna be like what the heck well you already see the gameplay right here uh, it's Mario 64's Bomb Bomb Battlefield. Now I don't I don't really even like this one. Like I don't like Mario 64 that much. That's why I just can't get into it. But if I, if I could get into this uh, to this game, it would probably be higher on the list. But I could just never get into this game. But Bomb Bomb Battlefield has the big bomb bomb that you fight at the top of the um place. And yeah. It's pretty much uh, a little level, and you can find some red coins if you like. Well, I haven't played Mario 64 in a while, but yeah, that's going to come in at number 9. But tell, tell me what you think. Do you think uh, Bomb Bomb Battlefield should be that uh, that low on the list? Um, but let's get into number 8. Alright, for number 8 um, is... Uh, New Super Mario Bros. U, Yoshi Hills. Now, this level is actually pretty fun. Um, it shows off the new rolling hills, uh, as it's called, Yoshi Hills. And it shows Yoshi's, it's pretty much the whole title. Yoshi, it has the Yoshi's in it, and the hills, the moving hills. Um, and yeah, it shows off Monty Moles. And then there's this one part where there's tons of Monty Moles that pop up. It's pretty fun, and yeah, it's one of my favorite levels from that game. And yeah, uh, let's move on to number seven. All right, coming in at number seven is Super Bell Hill from Super Mario 3D World. Um, this game, no, not the game, but this level is actually pretty fun. It's the first level in Super Mario 3D World, and it's actually pretty fun. Shows off the brand new cat powers and clear pipes, which are actually pretty fun. So yeah, that level is awesome. Um, and uh, it actually uh, brings back the Mega Mushroom from Super Mario Bros. DS. And it's actually pretty cool to see the uh, Mega Mushroom in HD. And uh, the gameplay right now is the Switch version, not the Wii U version. Because I don't know if anyone's gonna ever get back to that version if they have the switch one but anyways moving on let's go over to number six all right coming in at number six is uh super mario bros the lost levels one dash one this level actually introduced the poison mushroom and it was actually a little bit harder than any of the other levels didn't have that much goombas in it had mostly piranha plants, Koopa Troopas, but yeah, it was actually pretty cool. But um, it had a star uh, in the level, and I believe, um, yeah, it is the first game that have the poison mushroom. But yeah, it's pretty cool how um, how in the lost levels they added the um, the poisonous mushroom, and as well. They um they did Koopas instead of um, Goombas in the one dash one, but let's move on to number five. All 
Alright, coming in at number 5 is Super Mario Bros. 2 1-1. So, you guys are probably like, wow, he actually put Super Mario Bros. 2 in here too. Oh, 2 in here too. That's pretty funny. Anyways. And... Uh, from the start of the level, you fall down. It's different because normally Mario games you just start on the ground like in every other one. But that one's pretty different and you fall down. I think it's the only Mario level that does that. But um, they might bring it back. Who knows? And you can pick up enemies inside this game, which is actually pretty awesome. It never came back. Like Some of the stuff in Mario Bros. 2 never came back. But I think it never came back because, fun fact... Mario Bros. 2 is Doki Doki Panic, and, um, yeah, that's why it didn't come back, because it's probably, it's a whole di another different game, and they're probably not gonna stick to a different game's roots, and, uh, let's move over to number four. Alright, coming in at number four is Super Mario 3D World. Um, well, I forget what it is. Okay, I'm gonna put it up, <laughs> but I don't know what it is right now. Anyways, it's this rolling level with Galoombas, um, mice, and I don't know why they added it in, but a baseball is in this level. I don't get why, but okay. It's actually pretty fun to throw the baseball at the enemies, though. I'll give them that. It's actually pretty fun. But, yeah. There's also, like, an underground area inside this level. You uh, slide down. You find some other mice. It's pretty easy to get through the underground area. It's a pretty short level. But the start of it is pretty fun. And I'm mostly I'm giving it, uh, giving it the four treatment because of the fun baseballs. But let's move on to number three. Coming in at number 3 is New Super Mario Bros. U's 1-1 Acorn Plains. Now this level is actually so fun, it introduces the acorn powers too. It's really, really cool that you can fly like an acorn, uh, not, not like an acorn, but you can fly like a flying squirrel. And also, it, they introduce the new flying squirrel enemies, which I'm not sure names are um, I'll probably put up the official name right here but I'm not even sure what they're called the ones they have the, like the craziest name <laughs> what's they're going to well, I don't even know their names right now but their level is pretty cool rolling hills Goombas Koopas and if you go up you can find the secret area in the clouds which is actually pretty fun flying like a squirrel while going down uh, finding some fun coins and doing some platforming challenges. So yeah, that level is awesome. So let's move on to number two. We're getting to the good ones. All right, coming in at number two is Fossil Falls from Super Mario Odyssey. Now this level is great. From the music, you already know it's time to bash and have some fun too. Becoming a dinosaur to becoming 8 bit Mario and doing platforming puzzles. It's really fun, and I always uh, find myself coming back to that level. And yeah, that's why I put it in number two. It's just really fun, and it's, it has a, a T Rex in it. Who doesn't like being a T Rex in Odyssey? But, anyways, let's move on to number one. Number one is Bowser's Fury's Scamper Shores. I don't know about you guys, but I just love this level. It's so fun. But at least right now, it's my favorite grass level. But Bowser's Fury is a great game. And this is one of the most, most levels I come back to. Every time, even though there's nothing new to do, I've 100 percent of it. I just come back to it, to it a lot. And yeah, it, it has so much fun stuff. Um, cats, cat sh uh, shards, and tons of other stuff to do. Like 
you can climb and do some um, other crazy platforming things like those speed runners do they do some uh, crazy stuff but anyways that is my top one on my list thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe as I said at the start of the video to get notifications on new Super Mario top 10s see you in the next one peace